So we're working on some more Quartermaster stuff. Yep. Like I told the other day that we have like a big custom Quartermaster coming. What's up with this? It'll be the biggest thing we've ever built. So we have a custom order for a pretty much, well, it's 36 inches wide. And um, we wanted to do custom engravings on it and stuff. So we're gonna run a few prototypes through the shop. The custom build itself is so complex and specific. So there's a lot of engraving all over, inside, special lining. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna build two kind of prototypes beforehand mm -hmm. to make sure that we have to build correct to we keep one. So I'm working with a customer right now, um, coming up with a couple different designs that they want to do. So we're going to do an engraving on the lid, and it's going to be a two-part lid. Two open doors, so they can open oh. one. I mean, as you can see, you can really only engrave maybe 16 to 17 inches. So we had to part up the file into two pieces, and uh, took a little bit of figuring out, but I think we actually pulled it off, and it looks pretty good. It's already engraved, and it's in milling right now, getting built. We've been planning it for quite a while. It took cool. a number of weeks to get everything set. So. Is it a, what species is it? It's gonna be curly maple. Ooh. Yeah, the curliest of curly maple. The curliest yeah. of curly maples. <laughs> Very important. Cool. All right, so, so I'll go find yeah. people working on it and Perfect. get started. Sounds good. Are you gonna be in it too, buddy? It will fit perfectly there. We are going to make a nice cut here. We've already set them up so that in that way the grain orientation is gonna to continue to flow. We don't have two separate lids that are gonna be a little bit conflicting with the grain aesthetic. And we're gonna make sure that they're in this proper spot so they open nice and clean. Well, this is the first prototype. However, we did some extensive designing and was definitely a, an interesting task to do. We decided that instead of, because it's such a large piece, that it will take an entire redesign. And, well, not just redesign, but design in general. So the, the reason we like to do these big designs and to actually take our nice, nice sweet time instead of just throwing something together for a one-time thing is that we, we want to continue. We want to uh, extrapolate on them and make them a, make them a product. Finding out that you needed a fifth leg. Yeah, yeah, part of that. And then also, uh, how how do we make the fifth leg and make it look good? You know, we, we, there's a, a thought that we could just install it to just the the bottom of it, but then the leg would kind of end abruptly and it wouldn't really go with the aesthetic. Despite this being the back, we still want it to look as nice as the rest of the product. Going with this nice little dado cut, rabbit cut leg. Is this going to be the final one that we use after the prototyping? Uh, no, no. This was. Uh, I actually don't really prefer this engraving. It's kind of a little candy wampus. Uh, but his engraving is. Um, it's got yggdrasil in the center, and uh, it's got some vines. Um, quote in it in Elvish. So why do we go with this, even though we know what they have? Is this easier to do the laser cut of? Um, I wanted something a little more complicated, so that way I could make sure that it was something that we can do. Um, um, trying to go you know, as far as we can go with it, and then dial it back in, and, you know, when we start coming across the trouble areas. That's not the right way. <laughs> it's also super short. Yeah, right? Oh, are you just working out the cut? Uh, so right now I'm um, using an old 70s 
technique that I learned when I first got here, and that's Q-tips, because it helps control your saturation. Um, unlike a brush, a brush will hold a lot more of the stain in there. So the Q-tip allows you to not oversaturate it, and what I'm trying to do is leave this positive here that's on the inside of that line work. I'm trying to leave that maple. And um, so we ran the engraving a little bit deeper to uh, help uh, account for that bleed in the grain so we don't get anything up underneath it into the part we're trying to leave net. Um, but because I have to hit this one and it's going to take so long, I'm just focusing on the interior stuff with the engraving. And then I'm going to go back through, we'll stain the whole thing red. And um, once we have everything red, then we'll go back through again and we'll add our uh, ebony oil stain over the top of it. Are you live? No. I am recording, but I'm not live. <laughs> so originally we were going to do this with maple, um, but then I leaned on the front of that with the rag in my hand, left uh, red right on the maple. So we're gonna, Yeah, right. We're going to try to do the opposite now. We're going to try to leave this red so it'll be in line or inlaid with like red maple. Yeah, All right, talk to me, Goose. What are we doing? All right, so we're getting ready to enamel the extra large quartermaster here. Um, I just wanted an excuse to go outside, so we're pulling it outside. It's actually a little bit easier to work with when it's outside. Uh, you know, colors are a little bit more true, uh, especially when you're working with metallics. You can kind of see when you're cleaning it up. Um, but so right now, um, being that we don't want to get anything on the inside, we're going to spend a little bit of time and doing a little bit of prep work and taping off our edges and. Uh, yeah. Let it sit for just a second. Mineral oil will take up all that top coat of that. And then we'll go back through with the dry rag. Kind of buff it, clean it right up. And you can see it's coming off. A little at a time. Uh, this is just to get the most of it off, and then we'll do another pass at the very end with our uh, lacquer thinner. And then we'll go back and clean it up, double check all our edges, don't have any enamel on it. That kind of stuff. And this is still the prototype. This is still the prototype, yep. So we're just working out all the bugs that we're going to come across, like, you know, as far as the build and enamel goes, because it changes some things a little bit. We have to, uh, we have to engrave it before we build it. We have to stain it before we enamel it. So we just gotta work out the process a little bit. everything up, I'm gonna see how it fits together, and then kind of get together with uh, Jake and see exactly what we need to change, and see what all of those variables in that experiment work, which ones didn't, how we gotta change it, and, and then rinse and repeat. We have these awesome lasers, all right? Yeah, lasers all right. are awesome. The lasers cool. are awesome in any sense of the word, um, or acronym for that matter. But uh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so they only cut up to maximum twenty-seven inches long. Um, I mean five hundred millimeters. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but twenty-seven so. inches long. Yeah, so in freedom units, we can only cut so much. <laughs> we're, we're limited by the space, so we but had yeah. to come up with a system for actually being able to do it. Um, so the lid isn't too much of a problem. It's always the, the space board, which is like, what is this, 36 wide? 36, 36 wide. 36, and on the other ones, we're going to be doing legs as well, which are uh, 31. So it's a little bit over what we can do. We figured out a system. Um, basically, you, we have a... I don't, I don't know what you're gonna call it. 
an opening on the laser where you can actually pass through um, your product. Couple nice. things that we'll be doing differently. One, we talked about meeting halfway with this back leg. The back leg too, right here, I'm gonna over cut. And then when we, uh, when gotcha. we do so our dry build, we're gonna make now. sure it's nice and flush. Now, how cool would it be if this had wings on it that went out like that? Let's and stick this with was the your stick with screen. <laughs> this is the more complex one. The <laughs> one. Um, yeah. I like it. I like the inset too. Can we do that on all of them going forward? Oh, uh, we can. Something? I'm gonna need some tools. Got this yeah. little, yeah, little fine. less crispy want than I want it to be. But tighter tolerance on that screw head, probably. Like the exact width of this. Oh, that's nice. I like the demon's blood on it. I really do. The cut. Yeah. It's lined up really well with the. Let me get a pick of it. <laughs> All right, three more, and then we're done. Catchphrase. That's what Five. you want, right? Famous last word. Looks good. Yeah. Good work, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Two more. You got it. All right, do it again. Yeah, don't say like an asshole this time. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> uh, you got it, boss. Yeah. Heel click. Is that what you want, Brian? Is that, that what you want? That's what, exactly you what I want. want. We're done. I'm you done. You want me to lie? <laughs>